let's grab your Flipper Zero, which come equipped with its Wi-Fi module and GPS antenna. With it, you are all set for some wild driving experiments. Whether you drive or simply walk around, you will be able to map Wi-Fi networks, noting down the location, signal strengths, and security setups. Welcome to our selection from Flipper's Delicatessen. Today's special are the Wi-Fi board flavored for the Flipper Zero. It has some GPIO pins and we will zoom in later. A GPS Neo 6M. It came in different flavor and I chose the smaller one. It could be useful for further integration later. Header pin for dev board customization. We will solder them on the dev board module. So we need to have at least two of them with five pin. And on top of this, we are going to use four DuPont's female to female cables. And of course, for soldering this, you need your soldering kit. Here I'm soldering the headers that come with the GPS module. It's not mentioned before because it was already shipped with it. Here the aim is to solder this pin header in this flipper the board module. Here we are soldering on the back of the dev board module the five pin headers. So you see it's pretty straightforward. Now on the second side it will be more difficult because you could bump into the one that we just finished. Let's take a look at. You see here I have some difficulties because like maybe the camera angle so that's why I'm going to move it and here we go it's easier to solder now take a look at the soldered pins it's okay here is all the different components that we are going to connect. So the Flipper Zero with the dev board module, the GPS and the DuPont cable. Here we go. So let's start by connecting the dev board module. You could also turn it on to check that it's fully working. Once this is done, I will simply start by connecting the pins that make most of sense, which are like the power, the VCC on the left, and the GND, the ground. And for this, I will use the 3.3 volt from the dev board and the ground. You have like two uh, choice, like depending which one you, you feel left or, or right today. So here we go with the 3.3 volt. Now I'm connecting the ground. Now the ground and the VCC are connected. We need to connect the takes and RX pins which are here defined thanks to just call me coco a big shout to him and we see it's io9 and io21 like i said before i had to change the wire in order to to debug i was actually uh, stuck here we go i'm fully connected and you could see the led blinking here that's mean you got a GPS fix, yeah. So right now 
we need to launch the application in order to query and see um, GPS data. So I have run my order, which is like the latest companion and the board is also flashed. As per user details, there is a video um, in the link below and even on the video if you want to use ESP flasher from the Flipper Zero to flash it right there. It's also really interesting, you could make some query from the Marauder apps. Here I've checked how many sats I get a signal from, so it was 10. Here I show you my altitude um, at 103 meters. And here is a date pulled right from the satellite, which is pretty accurate and it's in GMT time. To save all the data right to your flipper SD card so you do not need to solder an external SD port on the dev board. That's really handy in my opinion. And to simulate some data, let's just uh, hit the while driving function. It's going to write some logs. Uh, so SSID, signal strength, and localization with some GPS data. And once this is done, we're going to use the QFlipper application. From the QFlipper application, you just need to browse the SD cards and have underscore data. And here you go to Marauder. And from this folder, you browse to logs. And here you have all the different logs from your while driving session. And from there, you could download it, apply to a map, so you could pinpoint each Wi-Fi SSID you have um, met, or even upload to website such as Wiggle to share it with the community. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new experiments.